from the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It's set list, stand up without a net. Challenging comedians from around the world to create stand up comedy out of thin air. And they're gonna rip on topics we gave them on the spot, under pressure and with zero preparation. I'm panicked, I was just writing to my wife, I'm panicked. Because you get that fucking adrenaline rush and you go, why do I do this bullshit? I can't stop doing James Gandolfini since he fucking died. I can't stop doing it. I miss him, I miss him. Will you welcome the Never Move Horse Team set list of Mr. Tony <laughs> But I gotta tell you one thing. You know, I'm not religious or nothing. I'm not. I'm not religious, but um, I also, I, my God, I'm fucked. That's what I say every morning. I wake up and I look in the mirror and I go, oh my God, I'm fucked. And I think, Tony, just remember your roots. Remember who you are. Stay true to your soul. You know who you are, Tony? You're an architect. <laughs> You're not some sort of comedian who needs people to love him or a stranger. It's, you're an architect. Remember that. You've got a white shirt on and you design buildings. You design tall buildings. Thank you so much, guys. And I'm so glad I'm able to hear and uh, speak to you guys. Um, I design tall buildings. Um, thing is, though... <laughs> Some of the tall buildings I design have got too much fucking foreskin, so I cut that fucking shit off. Moving on to the next topic, pricks! <laughs> I check my thoughts with inanimate objects. I ain't much of a reader! But I can read real good if I concentrate. <laughs> my life. My life. I'm finding new ways to do set list. <laughs> finding new ways to do it, Tone. Oh, Tony, you alcoholic fucker. What's going on? You drunk fucking prick. What's going on? I am... <laughs> thing is about Edinburgh, what I like about Edinburgh is at least... 30% of you are alcoholics as well. <laughs> but I do... I do check my thoughts. I do, I... What did I mean? <laughs> what did I mean? I mean, I was doing all that talking, but I don't know what I meant. What do you think I meant? I don't know what I mean! Tell me how I feel! Tell me how I feel! I feel like I'm dying alone! I'm losing my family? Sorry, what? You think I'm doing okay? Thank you, Mike Stand. Thank you, that's really given. That's all I needed, actually. He said I'm doing okay. Next! <laughs> Heard it! <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Don't film this! This is embarrassing! You're gonna put this online? Ah, oh, mind you, fuck, you've seen my live show. It's not much different. <laughs> Growing up in Alberta, though, I gotta tell you, I gotta be honest with you guys. Growing up in Alberta, I used to have a, used to have a few buddies we used to run around. There's me and, uh, there's Glenn Wool, me and him, we ran around. We ran around together, me and Glenn Wool, and he died in a wood chipper accident. <laughs> jeez, I'm like, Glenn, get out of this fucking wood chipper, you fucking dickhead. You're gonna be like, oh, jeez, he got all chipped up. He got all chipped up. I got, like, tiny bits of Glenn Wool all over my face even now, eh? And I said, uh, so here's the deal, here's the deal, eh? Like, oh, so, like, fucking here's the deal. Like, uh, you know, where's, um, where's, um, Gary? Uh, I don't, I don't know where he is. 
he, uh, he, he doesn't, he doesn't like being, he doesn't like being near anyone who is not called Dwight. <laughs> well, well, we know loads of Dwights. We know loads of Dwights. No, no, he's, he's got a real problem. <laughs> he likes only Dwights. <laughs> he's a Dwight supremacist. That's all I can do with that. <laughs> what am I, a fucking wizard over here? Oh, boy. You know what? The thing is, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Fuck you, college people. <laughs> oh, we've all got laptops and done learning. <laughs> I don't know what another word for death and sex with it. I don't. The only one I know is nectar. Oh, right. <laughs> but every time I see that word, I just jump over it. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye. I miss James Gandolfini. I really do. You can't smoke and drink and be that fat. Is there a secret smoking area? Yeah, it's next to the cafe. <laughs> Fuck, I have to go all the way downstairs.